Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Um, I did a kick video showing some special effects on my computer that I can add to the video where it looked like I had moon wings coming down, but I thought that would be a little bit annoying. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think about this backdrop. I did get some fabric and attach it to my door. I'm not in love with it because I feel cramped, and even though I love this kind of, you know, motif and that kind of thing, um, you know, I'm still trying to see what I can do. So, Anyway, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm tired of having the same, not really having a backdrop, so I thought this would be easier. Uh, the only thing is my side table is, like, in my way, and I'm cramped in the little corner. But we're going to go with the flow. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to try this out in my next few videos, maybe even film for Saturday Chit Chat. And right off the bat, if you see my right eye twitching, it's been twitching last week. I have no idea, but it looks creepy in my opinion, so... Anyway, and then, uh, if I remember, I should, at the end of this video, I will share with you what I have on my face, which is in blue. The cool thing is you're sitting on my chair and I can, you know, navigate it. Anyway, I've got my products in here, so. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Um, I went to Walgreens, Target, and Michaels, and I just thought I'd show you what I have gotten there. I'm going to start with the Walgreens haul. Anyway, I got a lipstick and four concealers, and I'll explain why. The first thing I got was the Fergie Wet n Wild lipstick. I had been eyeballing this color. It's in VIP pink. And they have another color. color I my tongue. Color there that I want to go back and get. And these are regularly $3.49. I got mine for $2.49, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm wearing this today. I love this color. It's such a pretty, pretty pink mauvey color. I've already swatched it for you guys. I tried to film this video last night, but if you follow me on Keek, you know why. I had the video recorded, and I just decided to start all over today with natural lighting. So, anyway, I love, love this lipstick. Uh, yeah. I think it's an awesome color, and I'm so happy I got it. But like I said, I waited a while before I got this because I kept tell telling myself I wasn't going to uh, buy any um, lip products, but I keep seeing these really awesome pretty colors come out. So Anyway, now you guys know that the Olay um, CoverGirl and Olay stuff that came out is actually the, I think it's the concealer. They are actually discontinuing it, and I knew this. Um... It's Blondie, uh, Casey, has been talking about the eye corrector, and I got the eye concealer last night because I couldn't get on YouTube with my phone, you know, needing to be charged to find out which one she liked. So, anyway, they have marked these at half off. They were $12.99. They are marked at $6.49. But what I did not know is when you buy one at $6.49, you get the second one half off of that because buy one, get one. But, you know, I didn't know if included the clearance. So I actually got two of these for three twenty four, which is a steal. And yeah. So let me show you what I got here. And I actually have this one. I actually opened the concealer uh the eye corrector and the um concealer. Here's number two thirty. I bought three of these. And I actually my first thoughts are on it. I have it on today. I actually really liked how it brightened my face up, but I'm still going to test it out. Even though this is being a discontinued product still, a lot of people are, some, a lot of people have been going nuts about it. So there's the product. I've been wanting to try an Olay CoverGirl combination, but I didn't want to pay 13 bucks for it. And I had I'm trying to swatch this for you. That lipstick left a stain on my hand, so be be warned when you get that. But it's a really good lipstick. But yeah, it felt really nice and creamy, and it seemed to brighten my eye area just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to just swatch. Of, they had one left of my color in the eye concealer, number 205. And it looks like that. I was really excited to try this out. Okay, let me swatch it. I believe the corrector is a, ye a yellow toned and the cur the um 
concealer is more of a pinky tone. You can kind of see. Okay, on top is the corrector, on the bottom is the concealer. So yeah, I'm really super excited about trying this out. Feels nice already. And like I said, I picked up two more of the eye correctors. I actually got one of these for a friend of mine. So yeah. Anyway, go check your Walgreens out. Um, I just thought that was a steal. You know, I'm getting them really uh, cheaply. And on my receipt, it says um, the total savings thirty three dollars and fifty cents, which value percentage wise is sixty percent off. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, could not believe they were three twenty four. I went, wait a minute, hold on, I'll get the other ones. So I bought them out. I'm going to leave that lipstick out because I'm going to wear that today. Okay. Let me show you what I got at Michael's. Not a big haul. Um, they had, I had uh, gone by there and saw these earlier in the week and decided to go by there. They have these really awesome photo boxes. Let me show you how they come for you from this one. The Recollections Memory Boxes. And they have so many awesome designs. It's so pretty. You guys know I'm really seriously getting into the Paris thing. And that is totally upside down. <laughs> But I love this design. That's what the back, uh, the front, that's what the back looks like. And you guys can use these for so many, um, things. I'm actually going to go by there if I get a chance to either this week or next week and go get two more for a couple of people. But I got these for storage in my makeup area. I just love the storage, uh, the Paris thing. And that's just what the box looks like. You can use these for so many things. Um, I've got a few of these in my scrapbooking area in my closet behind me. But... Yeah, I just I thought that was so pretty and so elegant. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go back and get a couple, maybe a few more for some of my uh, geek ladies. So, yeah, I'll probably go back by there today. And then I got this for my vanity. Oh, my gosh, it's so cool. I think I paid two thirty nine for this. Isn't it cute? It's a little hanger right there. I thought that would be so cute to put over here in my vanity. There it is. So, I got that. And I love perfume bottles. Oh my gosh. And I think I did really good on this. This one, I paid $1.79 for this. And that's just so pretty. Now, you guys know my husband, Carrie. He even said that was a nice looking perfume bottle. He's the one that got me my first perfume bottle that he found at Hobby Lobby. They have body spray in. So I just thought that was so pretty. I'll put that right here so it don't fall down. And that was all I got there. Okay. Tarjay. Oh my gosh. Now, Tarjay, I've got some of these products already on my eyelids. Here's my eye look today. I'm really loving the eye look I did today. And I had some help with some tools. And well, let me just show you the. Um, I picked this up, and if I, I may go back and go get another one of these uh, for someone here that I keep with. If I can find more of these, I'll find I'll get some more for my Keek ladies. But I think this is the only one they had. It was just a one little one piece basket, and of course it was hot pink. But I looked for purple. They didn't have purple. It was only hot pink, and I grabbed it. So I knew I could use this for something over here, uh, either over here or my uh, scrapbooking area. <laughs> and you guys know I picked up the rounded Hello Kitty container. Well, I picked a couple more up for a couple of ladies that a couple of Keek ladies here. So, I thought that was really cool. I'm actually, um, Carrie's uh, gone out to go do something. I asked him to stop by Target and see if they, he can find another one, whether it be rounded or square. And he said if he finds one, he's actually going to buy them. Because I need a third one. Anyway, these in that pink basket were a dollar. I thought they were so cute. And, of course, I had to get the bowl. But, again, a gift. Because, and I looked for the plate and they didn't have the plates. I'm like, oh, I should have got it. But I have been using the cup and the other stuff that I bought for myself. They actually had the stuff, and Carrie got excited about it. I was too, but more so than him. Uh, Goo Gong. This is an awesome gunk removing uh, thing. Um, they were both a dollar. Uh, two. Whatever that is. Anyway, got one for the house, and he got one for his job because he needed one. 
I got three packages. I've got the third third one somewhere. Um, the little six account Orbit gums. These were like twenty six cents. They were getting rid of this one. The no, Winter Mint. That's cute. And then this is what I have on my eyelids. I have one of the baked eyeshadows, and it's okay. I swatched another. And he's also gonna pick up the other baked eyeshadow that I didn't get. Um, I think it was Bark. I can't remember. But that one I'm getting. It should look good with the Pixie. But I have this one. This is in Dusk. That and I saw Heather Purple Kisses 1110. She bought this and I went, Oh, that's pretty. And you guys know I've been in, into the charcoal gray colors here lately, so yep. There's the color. I mean, these are freaking awesome. And my husband's own. So, yay. I mean, these are these I really like. Super pigmented. So, thought that was pretty cool. And then I got um, Burnt Plum. I saw someone, I can't remember who it was, but they had this. And I freaking love this. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And let me just watch this on my other hand. I mean, I couldn't believe how pigmented these were. I mean, I felt like Pixie was okay pigmented, but these are awesome. So, and I actually have a uh, burnt plum on my lid with this one in my crease. So I thought it was pretty cool. And then the last two things I got, which has, I'm going to tell you right now, I already love one one of these. The other one I think I'm going to like. I got the Sonia Kishuk, uh number 109 pointed blending eyeshadow brush. And I used this this morning. To help get the color into my crease. And I freaking love it. I'm going to slowly go back and buy more of her brushes. I was hesitant because it looked like it would um, shed. And it didn't. So, um, anyway, there's that. And it's just a really awesome pointed item. And he's staring at me for some reason. <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> I love you! Where did you get this at? Walmart. Oh my god, look what he got me, guys! <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much! Oh my gosh, I have the best hubby in the world! He thought of me! I've been obsessed with the heels, and there's a store that we pass by when we have to go a certain way to other towns, and they have this, uh, I think it's a cheetah? It's a cheetah it's chair. It's a cheetah chair shaped like this, and I told Carrie, I really, really, really want that. And um, I think I about got him talked into going and getting it, but anyway. Look what he got, I mean, that cute, it's just a little jewelry box holder, that is so cute. <laughs> I love you, babe. I love you too. That was so sweet of you. Now I gotta get you back. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so going on my vanity. <laughs> That's why you cannot sneak it up on me. Oh my gosh. I got the best hubby. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I was a little surprised by that. Okay. Uh, here's the Kenya. I can't talk now. I'm so shocked. Uh, Sonia Keshuk, uh pointed brush. And. I know somebody here on YouTube, they did a video on how you make your own, but I really wanted to just get this, and I love it. So, oh my gosh. See, it looks like it'll shed a little bit, but, and I didn't do my testing thing, but I was really hoping it would do what it did, because what it did was, when I put the Burnt Plum um, eyeshadow on, I took the other brush I'm going to show you, the Up and Up eyeshadow brush that's $2. Every time I go in and repurchase this, they were always out of it, and they had it, and I'm so glad I got it. Um, I had this before and hated it. I thought I'd give it another try. So far, I like it, but I'm going to test these out after I um, wash them, you know, spot clean them. But what I did was, anyway, I put the burnt plum on my eyelid, and I used this to get rid of the, I call jagged edges, and blend it into my eyelid a little bit. And then I used this 
to put the gray color in, and I thought it turned out pretty well. I still got, I mean, I still don't, I don't know, I still not, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But, you know, still. Anyway, I'm going to keep practicing with these two brushes, and who knows. Anyway, uh, this brush, by the way, was two bucks, which I think is pretty good. Now, the face brush, I, you know, this is really good. But every time I go into Target, any Target, they're always out of this brush, so it must be good. So, anyway, I think that's it for my haul. Let me show you what I have on my face today. I still can't believe you bought me that high heel. Oh my gosh. I think I've been looking at that every time I've gone into Walmart. Anyway, um, by the way, you heard him right. He got this at Walmart. <sighs> anyway. So anyway, it's twice. Okay. On my face. Let me start with the, the way I put it on. I have my NYC Smooth Skin Perfecting Primer. I also used my Mary Kay Moisturizer, which I don't have in front of me. I am going to use this all the way to the end, the Rimmel Max Perfection Foundation. I have, I'm getting there, it's starting to come down. Uh, I have been using this all week to set, just to set my um, foundation, the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Foundation. Now this has a little bit of a white cast, but I think I, I'm, so far I'm liking it, but I put it in this empty e.l.f. container. Just so that way I don't have to have something bulky on my vanity. And this is and translucent. And I've had this for a while. And like I said, so far I'm loving it. It hadn't bro broken me out yet. So a lot of the NYC Smooth Skin products haven't broken me out, which is awesome. Um, and then I topped it with... Um, let's see. No, that was my powder I just used. Um, I have the Milani bronzer. I'm determined to use this darn thing up. So, I have that for my contour. I have the Bombs Hot Mama blush. Very pretty. For my eyebrows, you guys know I'm using the NYC one. For, okay, I just told you guys that I'm using the baked eyeshadows, but for the brow highlight, I took Mocha Nation from Maybelline, and I'm using the white eyeshadow right there, which is awesome. It's really pretty. It gives it a nice little highlight. Sorry, my eyeballs give me problems. Uh, and on my eyelids, before that, I used my NYX Jumbo Pencil Milk, the e.l.f. Uh, $1 eyelid primer, and then... My eyeliner, I went back to this. I love this eyeliner. Good thing about seeing if they still have it. This is the Essence one. This is the charcoal one. I think I swatched this. Right there. Love it. And now, I threw away my Revlon Customized Mascara. And my mascara. I should have been either there. Anyway, and I broke open this bad boy. I could not stand it. This is like one of my holy girl mascaras. I love it. And that's the Jordana Best Last Extreme Mascara. So I'm going to keep using this one, the e.l.f. one, which I think I might be starting to get almost done with. And then, of course, the CoverGirl, or the Maybelline one. So anyway, I love this mascara. If you don't know, this is like, I think, a $3 mascara. You can find it at Walgreens. I love the wand. I love the formulation. Um, one thing I've noticed though, whenever you do put this on, let give it like a couple, a few seconds to dry, and then it should be set. So I love, love this. this is a great mascara. And I found this because I was watching Donnie Sweetie talk about it and his crystal makeup. Now my ears, I don't, you probably can't see. Remember, I'm not sure if I showed you. Yeah, I did show you guys these little earrings. I have these in my ear. So. And I'm wearing my bracelet that someone was nice enough to send me. And I have been using my lotions and so forth, so I'm really excited about that. So, I apologize. I keep saying so, but so, so, so. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did not intend for it to be 20 minutes long. Thank you, hubby, for my little surprise. Uh, be sure to turn in, turn, tune in to Saturday Chit Chat. I found some new things. Uh, I'm taking ideas from past issues of magazines, trying to get some ideas. And um, at this time, I'm trying to think of a new idea for just another weekly program, but Saturday Chat seems to be my niche. 
But I'm trying to find like another thing to do. And I got tagged by Heather on the tag video. Anyway, and be sure to go check out my homepage where I post, you know, of course, Style Hall. Uh, be sure to go check out Style Hall for sure. And go check out the ladies that I love to watch on a daily basis that I look forward to their videos. They're just my top ten, I think. Top whatever. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Toodles.